Now I know we have a lot of problems in the world right now and you may have a lot of fear and anxiety and uncertainty about what's happening in the market right now. Mortgage rates are at 20 year highs. The market is correcting or crashing depending on who you're listening to. But I want you to take a step back, take a deep breath and take a look at the opportunity that lies before us in the next three to six months. As someone who's lived and worked through multiple recessions, I can tell you that there is actually opportunity out there that we have not seen in the last few years. And if you are someone who is looking to become a homeowner or you're looking at buying a house right now, there is going to be opportunity out there in the next three to six months. The biggest thing right now is your out-of-pocket investment to buy a house right now is the lowest it's been in the last two years. What do I mean by that? Previously, you had to be ultra qualified to get your offer accepted. Sellers didn't want to talk to you if you were using down payment assistance or even an FHA loan. In the past two years, you couldn't get an offer accepted. Not only did you have to overbid on houses, you had to have your own down payment. You had to pay for your own closing costs. And above and beyond that, you had to tell the seller, hey, if this house doesn't appraise for what I'm offering you, I'm gonna take even more money out of my own pocket to pay for an appraisal guarantee. That is not the case right now. The market has quickly shifted in favor of buyers. And I know mortgage rates are higher and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute as well. But you as the buyer need a minimum down payment you can use down payment assistance, you can use FHA loans, you do not have to be this ultra qualified 20% down or cash buyer in order to get your offer accepted right now. This is a big deal. This is a big opportunity, again, that we haven't seen in the last literally two, possibly three years where we are not in multiple offer situations. I can just be a normal person, you know, offering the asking price to the seller, and I can even ask for seller paid closing costs. This is also a big deal and makes a huge difference to buyers when it comes to what your out-of-pocket investment is gonna be in your home purchase. If I'm only responsible for my 3% down payment on a $300,000 house, that's $9,000. But if I'm paying my closing costs on top of that, that's easily another $9,000 or approximately 3% of your purchase price is gonna be your closing costs. So you're talking about an $18,000 total investment. But in this market, again, if you're able to ask for and receive seller paid closing costs, that cuts your initial investment or out-of-pocket investment in half. Not only are home prices lower right now because of seasonality and this market shift, but buyers don't have to offer over asking price anymore because there's not a lot of multiple offer situations right now and sellers are, quite frankly, getting a little anxious about this market and going into the winter. Sellers are willing to work with you. I mentioned appraisal gaps earlier when people were offering above and beyond the asking price and your appraisal came in short, meaning the house didn't appraise for the price that you're offering. People were throwing in appraisal gap guarantees in there, offering to pay 10, 15, $20,000 over the appraised value just to get that offer accepted adding to their out-of-pocket expense. So not only did you have your down payment, your closing costs, but you might have another 10 to $20,000 of an appraisal gap guarantee in order to get into a house in the last couple of years. Well, that has gone away. That has really cut down on the overall out-of-pocket costs for home buyers right now. And that makes a big difference. Now, I know what you're gonna say, which is rates were way lower back then. Now they're double, they're at 20 year highs and I'm gonna talk about rates right now. But before I do, I just wanna let you know, I do have another video coming out that goes over in more detail what I just talked about as far as your total investment, your out of pocket in order to get into a house right now is a fraction of the cost that it has been in the last couple of years because of those things that I just mentioned, appraisal gaps, purchase price, down payment, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you that in more detail in the next video. So please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell 
for updates so you don't miss that video when it comes out. So mortgage rates, yes, they're higher right now, but I also just made another video about how you can get the seller to pay for a lower mortgage rate. You can do that in a couple different ways. One, you can always pay for a lower rate, whether rates are high or low, you can always pay your lender to go lower on the rate. So for instance, if you're getting seller paid closing costs right now, you can use that money to just buy down your rate like you normally would. There is also another option right now called a 2-1 buy down, which again, if you are getting seller paid closing costs, you can use those funds to buy down your rate to do a 2-1 buy down. This is a way to get a 2% interest rate reduction in the first year of your mortgage, a 1% reduction in your mortgage rate for that second year, and in the third year, your mortgage rate goes up to the actual rate, whatever that might be. So if your normal rate right now is 7%, you can do a 2-1 buy down, it's 5% in the first year, 6% in the second year. Now here's the theory behind that. One, you get the seller to pay for it because it does cost money. But then two, if you're assuming that rates are eventually gonna come down, that gives you a little time to get an affordable monthly payment, a lower rate initially, and you wait 12 to 24 months for mortgage rates to come down, and then you can refinance into a lower rate. Now, you can use that strategy in any market, regardless of what the rates are, but in the next three to six months, you have a better chance of implementing that strategy because you are getting into the market ahead of other buyers. Next spring and summer, the market inevitably picks up again. And if you listen to mortgage rate forecasts and economic predictions, a lot of people say that mortgage rates will eventually come down whether it's in the next 12 or 24 months remains to be seen. Nobody can tell when mortgage rates are gonna come down, but the general consensus is, is that in the next 12 months, mortgage rates are gonna be lower 12 months from now than where they're at right now. If that turns out to be true, what happens to the market? Well, rates have come down, now buyers are coming back into the market, now there's more demand out there. Now you're in a situation where you're competing with other buyers, sellers have multiple offers to choose from, and they may not be willing to drop their price, give you seller paid closing costs, then you're in a situation where now you're paying for your down payment, your closing costs, we might get into another situation where, you know, buyers are offering appraisal gap guarantees. Of course, all these things that we just talked about assumes that you are actually ready to buy a house. Maybe you've been pre-approved with a lender, you're, you've got good credit, you know, your job situation is stable, you're comfortable with the proposed monthly payments, you've got some money saved, and you know, you're actually ready to make that commitment, that long-term investment to buy a house. And I'm not saying you have to be in a perfect financial situation. Like I mentioned before, you know, you can get an FHA offer accepted right now. You can use down payment assistance. Sellers are willing to accept your offer. You don't have to be a 20% down perfect credit, you know, conventional home buyer. But if you're not ready, or maybe you haven't been pre-approved with a lender, maybe you've got some credit things you wanna work out, maybe you wanna save a little bit of money, this is the time to do that. In the next three to six months is where you get prepared to buy a house. Maybe you are thinking about asking your parents or somebody for a down payment, a gift for your down payment. That This is a good time to plant that seed, bring up that topic with your family and ask that question. You might be in a situation where you're changing jobs or looking at a new job, for instance. Maybe buying a house is a, is a priority, but not an immediate priority. Regardless, please don't let fear and anxiety stop you from reaching your goals and ambitions of becoming a homeowner or getting a new job or whatever it is that you wanna do in the future. The news, the media, social media, YouTube, shovel, fear and anxiety in our faces all day because we as humans love that. We love drama. That's what we wanna see. That's what gets our emotions going. But you really gotta turn off the noise and look at your particular situation. We're not all living in markets like Phoenix, Fort Myers, Austin, Provo, Utah, Boise, Idaho. Those are markets that have experienced extreme growth in the last couple of years and are experiencing extreme price volatility right now. And that's the stuff that you're seeing all over YouTube, all over real estate channels, in the news. When we talk about market crashes, potential crashes, you know, for the most part, we're talking about those locations. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the Twin Cities, Minnesota area is pretty stable. Yes, we're going through a market shift. We're normalizing. Yes, prices are gonna come down in some situations, but we're not talking about a market crash in a lot of different 
uh, areas, metro areas. So just keep that in mind, keep the fear at bay and uh, understand that there's a lot of opportunities still out there, especially in the next three to six months as we kind of work through this correction and the market normalizes. You've got a lot of opportunity out there. If you think this video was helpful, please hit that like button. And if you're interested in becoming better prepared to buy your first home or next home, check out this video and I'll see you in the next one.